This is our video number two for this 10 ton coolant coolers chiller. I got the covers on, power disconnect on. Uh, this toggle or selector switch here is what you should use for on and off. Uh, there's a remote option. You can look in the manual if you want to do a remote on off. But the middle is off, local, use your power on. So as, soon, as soon as I turn it to local, you can see that the, uh, the pump turned on. Uh, in fact, in this case, the uh, compressor turned on too um, because we had the set point low enough. But I'm going to go ahead and, and hold in the set button for a second or two. Then it blinks, and then it's going to press the lower arrow. down to 50 degrees. You can see it cycles back. I went too far. Go back to 50 and then press set again. So when I press set again, it set the value, set point at 50 degrees, and then after, um, then, then when I press set again, it shows you the process value of what the fluid is. And you can see it's gonna be cooling pretty fast. Um, with this simple controller here, it's going to chill down to just a, about 50 degrees, maybe some residual cooling, go half a degree less or so, and then the compressor and the refrigeration circuit will shut off. The pump will run all the time. And this has a differential about 3 degrees, so it'll wait till it goes about 3 degrees above set point before it turns back on. You don't want to go too much tighter than that for a differential. Otherwise, we'll get into short cycling issues. So just to clarify what this is here, it's 2018 model SVI 10,000M, serial number W154130001. Zero zero one four sixty volt three phase. Uh, minimum circuit impacity thirty three. Maximum disconnect or fuse protection sixty amps. It is. It does come fully charged with our four zero seven C refrigerant. See right now we're down to about uh, sixty one degrees. And. The high pressure pump actually, which will be good if you go into multiple process uh, process machines or devices. Right now it's happy at about 50 PSI, which is on the high side for a typical 10 ton, uh, 10 ton pump. Uh, but again, because of the internal spring loaded bypass, you just need to have a supply loop going out to your machines and then a return loop coming back here. Your supply does not have to meet your return. After you go to your last process machine, it can just be deadheaded because of that internal flow bypass. I mean, if you, if, you ch if you close off all the valves to your machines, there'll be no flow in the main supply line, uh, but the chiller will be bypassing back to itself. Six degrees right now. You can pick the unit up from underneath. Just make sure the forks go all the way through, and it's got these nice galvanized feet up on the uh, on the bottom. We'll probably build a crate around this pallet that it's already on. We might make a new custom pallet, but it is going to be a nice full crate for shipping. schematic in there. Um, we will email a uh, soft copy of the manual or they're pretty easy to find online for this brand. It's a very, uh, very common brand. In fact, I think we got two smaller ones in just the other day. Yeah, there's one. 
We just got this three ton in. And there's a similar one out in our back warehouse. To the set point here. With a bigger load, you might hear a little bit of hissing or where the hot gas capacity control is engaging. Oh, I actually can hear that hissing right now. Just briefly, and then our compressor uh, shut off. So you just hear the uh, pump. But uh, this was ready to go. It's a fine running chiller. This is Scott from KIG, and our website is kigsales.com. Thank you.